Hello all, this is the second video on AVR interrupts. In this video, we will explore the timer 0 interrupts. We will be using AD Mega 16 on the AVR development board and uh, an USB ASP is used as ISP programmer. Plug in the ISP programmer and then connect an LED at uh, pin 20 that is PD6 and then provide the power adapter to the development board. Before starting, we will be uh, setting the fuse bits. By default, the uh, H fuse is uh, hex 99 and L fuse is uh, hex E1. And that is by default, AD Mega 16 will operate uh, uh, with internal clock 1 megahertz. Let us change this to external clock uh, 8 megahertz. For this, type in CMD uh, and then type in AVR Dude. The AVR Dude is uh, by default installed along with Win AVR and then type in this code uh, AVR Dude followed by small letter hyphen small letter C that is uh, type of programmer is USB ASP small letter P for M16 that is IC is 80 mega 16 and uh, capital letter U followed by the H fuse uh, D9 and the low fuse FD to make it simple uh, open notepad and then type in this uh, code AVR dude hyphen small letter C USB ASP and then the H fuse and uh, uh, L fuse after that you add up uh, pass now save this uh, as a batch file save as type you change it to all files and then provide a name and then dot bat this is the windows batch file like this uh, we can create more batch files for internal uh, uh, crystal 8 megahertz as well as external crystal 8 megahertz and then default 1 megahertz three types of batch files we have created and it is available for download uh, in the description below you can just double click this batch file to change the clock now let us see this uh, C code inside the programmers notepad we will be developing the C code to start with include the uh, header files and then declare a count variable as volatile uint8 uint8 is uh, used for as unsigned integer of standard length and volatile keyword is always used uh, for global variables that is used inside isr inside the main function uh, we declare the pd6 as output using the left shift operator and then initialize the uh, tcnt0 as 0 counter as 0 and the count variable as 0 TCCR0 is the timer counter control register for timer 0 and uh, inside this uh, control register we will be setting the prescalers. The prescaler uh, is decided by the bits uh, 0 to 2, CS00, 01 and 02. We will be using a prescaler of 1024 so that the external clock is divided by 1024. For this you have to set the bits CS00 and uh, CS02 as seen in the table. Using the left shift operator we make it 1, zero, CS00 and then CS02 to apply the prescaler 1024. In the timer mask register we have to enable the overflow interrupt 0. This timer mask register is common for all uh, timers. We have to enable the bit 0 these two bits are for a uh, timer 0 we have to enable the bit 0 TOIE 0 and then uh, the global interrupt is enabled using SCI then the ISR is called we have to use the correct vector name timer 0 underscore OVF underscore small letters VECT we have to use the correct uh, name as seen in the table vector table uh, when the interrupt is fired this ISR is called automatically inside the ISR function uh, we wait till the count is uh, 31 and then toggle the port uh, D pin 6 PD6 we wait till uh, 31 to generate a delay of 1 second 
and then toggle the uh, port D6 pin. Uh, let us see the calculation why this 31. The clock used is uh, external crystal 8 megahertz and we apply a prescaler of 1024. So the clock uh, source becomes 8, 8 megahertz divided by 1024. 8 followed by uh, 6 uh, zeros and then divided by 1024. That becomes uh, 7812.5 hertz. Now the clock period is uh, reciprocal of this uh, frequency. 1 by 7812.5 hertz is uh, 0 0.00128. 0 0 0 0 uh, microsecond, which is nothing but 0.128 millisecond. Uh, timer 0 is 8 bit timer and it uh, counts from 0 to 255 and then overflows. For a single overflow, timer 0 takes uh, 256 into 0.128 millisecond, uh, which is 32.768 millisecond. So every 32.76 millisecond overflow occurs. To generate a time delay of 1 second, which is uh, 1000 millisecond, thousand divided by 32.768 uh, is uh, 30.51 which is nothing but 31 so this is the 31 we use in the uh, code to generate one second delay so timer uh, counter has to overflow 31 times to generate a delay of 1 second. So save this uh, C code inside a folder with .c extension. Uh, do not forget the .c extension. Save this file and then uh, call the M file of WinAVR inside the M file uh, set the MCU type as uh, 80 mega 16 and uh, port as USB and the programmer as USB ASP to set this programmer as USB ASP you you have to enable the uh, editing capacity and then change to USB ASP target leave it as uh, main but the C code should be uh, saved as main.c so that you can use this uh, same make file for all the uh, future projects. Save this make file inside the uh, folder where C code exists. Now click on tools make all to generate the hex file. And then click on tools program to upload the hex code onto the 80 mega 16 chip. The WinAVR has the capacity to upload the hex, hex file from within the uh, IDE itself. Now the code is uploaded and then the LED at PD6 blinks at one second interval. In the second example, we will be using the OCR0 uh, output compare register normally the uh, timer 0 is 8-bit uh, register and the TCNT 0 register uh, starts counting from 0 to 255 and then overflows by setting the flag TOV0 which is found in the TAFR register TAFR register holds all the flags uh, in this example we will be loading the OCR0 register with a value between uh, 0 and uh, 255 the counter TCNT0 starts counting from 0 to 255 and when, when it equals to OCR0 it sets a flag OCF0 in TAFR. As we are concerned with the interrupts, we will not be handling the flag manually. We will be setting the interrupt OCIE0. Now let us see the code. 
the header files are included at the top and then starts the main uh, function inside the main function we make the pin pd6 as output we use the left shift operator to make pd6 as output and then we call the function uh, timer underscore init this is our own uh, defined function we have to write the code for this timer underscore init let us see the timer underscore init function uh, tccr0 timer counter control register 0 is the control register for timer 0 uh, the bit wgm01 we have to make it 1 and then uh, we make the prescaler as 1024 by setting the bits cs00 and then cs02 this is the timer control uh, register tccr0 uh, the bits uh, cs 0 0 1 and 0 2 uh, they decide the prescaler as we use the prescaler 1024 we make the bits 0 0 and 0 2 as 1 as seen in this table uh, other two bits that is wgm 0 0 and wgm 0 1 decide the mode of operation of the timer uh, generally it is 0 0 it is in normal mode to make it CTC that is uh, clear timer on uh, compare CTC mode we have to make WGM01 as 1 this is seen in this table just make the WGM01 bit as 1 and the mode becomes CTC mode now we initialize the counter TCNT0 as 0 and we load the OCR output uh, compare register with a value between 0 and 255 let us select 220 uh, this is the calculation the uh, clock is 8 megahertz that is divided by 1024 prescaler uh, 7812.5 reciprocal of it is uh, 0.128 and 220 multiplied by 0.128 is uh, 28 millisecond within 28 millisecond the uh, counter will reach this 220 in the timer mask register we have to enable the OCIE0 uh, bit to enable the interrupt we do not handle the flag manually we just enable the interrupt uh, bit OCIE0 it is in uh, timer mask register which is common for all timers then we enable the global interrupt SCI now the uh, interrupt service routine uh, we have to give the correct vector name timer 0 underscore comp underscore small letters vct inside this function uh, we toggle the bit port d now save the file uh, inside a folder uh, as main dot c uh, do not forget the dot uh, c extension and use the name main dot c uh, and copy the make file we created in the first example uh, the same make file can be used here uh, if the uh, .c file name is main you can use the same uh, make file here and then tools may call will create the hex file now click on uh, tools and then program the hex file will be uploaded onto the chip now you can see the uh, led blinking very fast that is only 28 millisecond uh, it's almost stable to change the speed let us change the clock to internal 1 megahertz already we have created the batch file uh, you just double click on the batch file uh, saying 1 megahertz internal clock now the clock has become our uh, internal 1 megahertz you can see the uh, LED blinking slowly again go to the batch file we have created and uh, normalize this to external clock 8 megahertz just double click the batch file to change the uh, uh, frequency of the clock now let us see the third example OC that is output compare uh, in hardware mode it is represented as OC followed by the timer uh, number OC0 is at PB3 uh, so let us make the uh, let us connect an LED at PB3 pin this is the code uh, inside the um, main function we make the pb3 pin as output as we are connecting led at pb3 we make the pb3 pin as output using the left shift operator 
and then call the timer init function this is the timer init function inside which uh, tccr0 uh, we make the prescaler as 1024 and then enable the ctc mode uh, as we have done in the second example we have to enable the ctc mode using uh, uh, wgm01 bit as 1 and set the prescaler to 1024 uh, using the bits uh, cs00 and cs02 this uh, all bits are found inside the tccr0 register cs00 and cs02 uh, are made one to make the prescaler as uh, 1024 and the mode is set as ctc by setting wgm01 as 1 apart from this we have to uh, enable the output toggle mode that is uh, uh, inside the tccr0 we have to make the com00 as 1 this will enable toggle mode on output compare this is also inside the tccr0 register and then we initialize the counter tccnt0 as 0 and uh, load the output compare register with the 220 value as done uh, before we have to compile and then upload the code connect the led at pb3 now the uh, you can see the led blinking thank you for watching